A meeting between the ambassadors of the European Union member states in Colombo and President Gotabe Rajapaksa was held at the President's house this morning. During the talks, the UN boys pointed out that the international community could easily assist Sri Lanka based on the country presenting a firm plan for rebuilding its crisis state economy. The EU ambassadors also urged the President to consider the European Union as a friend of Sri Lanka and offered assurances that they would continue to support Sri Lanka during this difficult time. The President pointed out that with 90% of the country's population residing in rural areas and 75% of them engaged in agriculture, assistance could help solve the issues relating to fertilizer, fuel as well as food supply. A number of areas including investment and tourism education were also discussed at length. Meanwhile, Sri Lanka has received a stock of humanitarian aid worth 3 billion rupees from India. The donation was handed over to Sri Lankan authorities by Indian High Commissioner Gopal Bagle today. The stock of supplies includes 14,700 metric tons of rice, 250 metric tons of milk powder and 38 metric tons of medicines that was collected by the government of Tamil Nadu. Further, the Tamil Nadu government has also promised to donate a further 40,000 metric tons of rice, 500 metric tons of milk powder and a second consignment of humanitarian aid, including medicines. Meanwhile, several leading private sector businesses in the country have partnered with the United Nations Development Programme to facilitate the pharmaceutical and food sectors that have been severely affected by the current economic crisis. The project was inaugurated at the United Nations office in Colombo last afternoon. UN Resident Coordinator in Sri Lanka, Hana Singha Hamdi, was also present at the occasion. Partnering in the program are conglomerate Hema's Holdings, Dilma T, Brandex and Daraz. The program aims to target adults and children who have been severely affected by the current economic crisis.